So the away ones span through the similar sort of time scale. The Gunner's Restaurant. So a bottle of claret, top line, 90p. 90, 90 pence. Well, hello and welcome back to my shed here in Norfolk. Good to see you all. Hope you are well. T-shirt of the day, Thundercats. Yes, who loved the Thundercats? I know I did. So for this video, I thought I would share a recent purchase with you. I say recent, I've had it a good month or two now already. I've just got round to sorting it out. And if we do this, you can see it in the background. It's all of these binders which are filled with Arsenal football programmes. There are, I can't remember the exact number, um, the original owner actually catalogued them all here. Look at it. It's quite, um, quite something. It's 300 and something, maybe 350 or 60. I honestly can't remember. But um, it's a fascinating collection. It spans from, well, the earliest is 1947, but there's not many of that sort of age. In fact, there's just that one really. And then there's a couple of other older ones. And then the, the, collect, the main body of the collection starts at the beginning of the 70s and goes right through to the end of the 80s. There's a binder full of away programs there, which are really interesting. Um, there's some there's some nice stuff in there. So, my question really for you lot is whether this was a good purchase. I went to a yard sale, and this was I think this was the first thing I bought. It was a yard sale event in a local town, and at the fire station they had a load of stalls set up set up in the yard of the fire station, like a mini boot sale. And this guy had these and, and somebody else was looking at them and I, I was listening to their conversation and he explained what it was and how many was there. And he said to the guy, I need 50 pounds for these. And the chap looked interested, but he declined and he walked away. And I stood there for a minute and I thought, because I heard him say there were 300 and however many, let's, let's say it's 350. And I thought, 50 quid, surely, surely that's, that's a good deal. So anyway, I said to the guy, I'll buy the programmes off you. And I, I gave him the 50 and we walked away with all of these. They weigh an absolute ton as well. There's a lot of weight here. Um, so I'll give you a closer look and then um, I'll talk about the very limited research I've done so far. So let me give you a close up. So here's an overview of all of the binders. This one here has the, the really early 1947. I mean, that one on its own is, is worth a little bit of money. I'm not quite sure what that would go for. Another bit of a ropey condition one, but another early one there. And then here we're into 1958, but this is a West Ham. So this is an away. Arsenal playing at West Ham. And then these are all aways. There's some really interesting stuff in here. There's some um, FA Cup stuff. Football League Champions 59-60 Burnley. Look at that. Yeah, I've, I've looked up a handful of from in here. Um, see if I can find... There's some... I'm not going to be able to find them now. Ah, here we go. Well, this is uh, FA Cup semi, look. Wolverhampton Wonders versus Tottenham. So that's not even... Oh, no. Oh, so were Arsenal hosting these? I guess they were. Um, yeah, but I found a couple of programmes in here that might be £10 programmes, but most aren't worth a great deal. They're just really interesting because they're obviously all different clubs where Arsenal has played away. And there's some international stuff and yeah, 
Interesting. Ah, oh, there's a nice one, look. Final, Fulham versus West Ham at Wembley. Isn't that cool? So that's perhaps the most interesting binder. And then the Arsenal home stuff starts here. 69-70 season through to 72-73 in here, for example. Um, I don't know if these seasons are complete. Um, but yeah, you can see how the design changes over the years. There's one season into the next. And we've got 71, 72. So these are older than me. And then it will change again to a different design. So they, the condition is generally amazing on these. They've, they've been kept in these binders and they are mostly really good condition. Um, a lot of them, they've changed the lineup if the, if the lineup changed, which is interesting. So, yeah, so that starts in the 70s. Um, Seventy-three, seventy-four, through to 76 in here. Again, you can see the, how the design of the uh, covers changes through the seasons. And then on into uh, late 70s, on into the 80s. As you can see, and so it continues right the way through the 80s. So many. Where are we now? Uh, 81, 82, uh, 83, and it continues. So here we are at 87 by this point. And then there's a few from the late 80s. I think it finishes as a couple, maybe 1990 or that sort of date, 89 there, look. Oh, these are interesting as well. Let me show you these. These are from, well, let me show you this first. This says, Arsenal Stadium, London, the Gunners Restaurant. And this is the wine list. So this must be from the old Highbury Stadium. Um, and I'm guessing they had a restaurant there called the Gunners Restaurant, that would make sense. And somebody pinched the wine list. Now this isn't dated, but it's gotta be early 70s because it has the prices listed. I mean, this is interesting. We've got uh, prices per bottle. Um, so a bottle of Claret, top line, 90p. 90, 90 pence. Anyway, the, the point is, oh my goodness, a bottle of wine for 90p. You, you can't get a glass for under a fiver these days. Right. The point I was trying to make was the prices are in decimal and old money. You see, they're still listing the prices in both. Now, decimalization came in in was it 71 i want to say correct me if i'm wrong so i'm i'm assuming this is is around that sort of time where they're still listing prices in both old money and new money um but isn't that a cool thing there can't be many of those around and then the other bits this is again arsenal restaurant i don't know if you can see it in gold up there and this is a menu and inside it has a typed, a typed out menu. Um, oh, and this is dated, there you go. This is dated 4th of uh, August 71. And it has what was available in the Arsenal restaurant that week or that day. Isn't that a cool thing? How many of those are around? So whoever this was, nicked the menu. 
<laughs> right? And there's another one with another very classy image on the front. Uh, oh, some Gunner's Restaurant Menu. There you go. And is this one dated? Yes, 72. 72 this one is. Um, yeah, starters. Chilled melon, orange juice, or tomato ju juice, or asparagus soup. You could have as a starter in the Gunners restaurant in 72. So those, um, if I can find anything completed, I'll pop it on screen here, but I did look, look a while back and couldn't find anything. They are really unusual. Um, so they're interesting, definitely. Probably my favorite items in the collection, if I'm honest. In this last binder, which had the late 80s ones in it, there's a whole load of different little magazines. So we've got Arsenal, Echo, there's a wadge of those in there. Arsenal Handbook, The Guna Magazine, One Nil Down, Two One Up, Arsenal Echo, so there's all of these, so they're really interesting. I love stuff like that. Um, I briefly tried to look these up, couldn't find much in the way of completeds. Uh, but what I did find, they didn't have much value. So I'd probably bundle those. If I was gonna split this collection up, and I'm not sure I am yet, I would do a little bundle of these magazines. So there we go. All nicely in binders, in excellent condition. So I just touched on how would I sell this, what the thoughts are. I'm not sure, and if you've had any experience of a collection like this, I would be interested to know what you did. Um, I was researching earlier on bundles, and I found a similar size Arsenal football programme collection, which was 319 programmes, I think it was. And that sold at £300. Um, it was a later collection. It wasn't as early as this. Um, whether that makes a significant difference, I don't really know. But that's what, if I were to sell it as the collection, that's where I'd be pitching it, I think. That's what I had in my head, roughly a pound a programme, I think might be achievable. I don't really know. Um, programmes generally, home programmes, even whole years, are not worth a great deal. Um, you can go on eBay now and search Arsenal and Arsenal programmes and you can see that the whole seasons go for not big money. Um, but there is a market for it and collections of this size don't come up very often. So I think it would sell. It's just what the price would be. So right now, if I listed all of this, I would go at £300, I think, or maybe 350 with offers. Um, but I, I think I'm going to list these sort of more unique items on their own. I may list some of the more interesting and collectible away programmes on their own. The, the FA Cup stuff, um, that sort of thing. I could go to the lengths of listing it per season. Right. Do the 72, 73 season, for example, um, everything I've got from that year home wise. But then it, do I want to go that route? And they don't fetch massive money to make it worth my time and effort. So well, I don't know. Um, I've had a couple of people asking me about this since I shared it. Well, since I said that I'd picked it up in a hall, I've had a few people message me saying I'm interested. Um, so hopefully you've you've seen what I've got here. Um, and if you are serious about buying it, yeah, just find find myself or Andrea on Instagram and ping us a message and uh, we can have a chat. Um, so basically it is home uh, from 1969-70 through to 88-89, that sort of period. I think it is, I don't know if it is complete, but the earlier ones look like it's almost whole seasons all the way through to, into the 80s. Towards the end of the collection, I think it becomes a bit thinner. I don't think they were attending every match. 
uh, and then the away ones are in here. So the away ones span through the similar sort of time scale, um, 70s, 80s, mostly. And a handful of earlier ones that I think they've picked up as a collector. So there you go. It's, it's a fascinating collection. I have dabbled in football programmes over the years. Um, they're not as valuable as you might imagine, um, generally. But as a collection like this, this will attract a lot of attention if I listed it as, as a whole collection. And, and that is the thought. Right now, if I was listing this today, I would do certainly all of the home ones as a, as a lot and maybe the away ones as a separate lot. That would be my thinking. Possibly pull a couple of the more expensive ones out of there. And then these more unique items I would do on their own and those little fans, fan magazines as a little bundle. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. If you are interested or you know anyone who might be interested, find us on Instagram, chuck me a message, might be able to do a deal. But there you go. So that's that's another little project we've now got ongoing, is uh, sorting and listing all of these. Such fun. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you are new in these parts, my name is Nick and I sell stuff on the internet. That's my job. That's how I earn a living. This is my shed here in Norfolk. And here's some of the assorted stuff that I buy and sell. That's what this channel is all about. So if it's if that seems interesting, please subscribe. It's completely free. I put out videos each and every week all about the whole process. Thank you so much for watching. If you do want to carry on watching me, I'll pop a video up here, one of my old ones. So check this one out. Take care. See you soon. Bye.